been really good, man. Very, very good. Awesome. So oh, you guys are you know, from the Tampa area. How's it feel yes. back to the area? It feels humid. Yeah. Yes, I remember that clearly. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, I love it because, uh, you know, this is where our hometown is. This is where the friends and family are. So everybody's coming out and seeing our like, my parents last night and stuff like that. So it's just cool to have like a little bit of connection, a little bit of peace of mind. It's cool because this is like halfway point pretty much in the world tour. So it's a nice, it's a nice uh, halfway point. Definitely, definitely. Uh, your new album, New Surrender, is set for September 30th. Uh, you guys are really excited? Is there anything fans should know? Man, yeah, absolutely excited. We just put a, a song about an hour ago on MySpace, you know, uh, for, you know, just a celebration of being back at home. Uh, it's off the new record. People seem to love it so far, so it's been a really good response. Uh, we're just excited, you know. Uh, but we recorded out in LA. We spent about three months out there with a producer named Neil Avron who did Lincoln Park and he also did Fall Out Boy. So it's kind of the best of both worlds, like the rock and the pop and stuff like that. And uh, it's just, it's it's absolutely the album I'm most proud of that we've ever done. Now, have you guys been playing the new songs on this tour? Or? Well, we do a lot of stuff with the MySpace, like acoustic. We play some new songs. But I think when we get on stage, like people want to, they don't want to hear the new stuff. Nobody can sing along, you know. And so I, I just rather wait till a little bit closer to when they release it. So, uh, Warp Tour is over within about a month or so. Yep. What do you guys have planned besides the CD release after the Warp Tour? Um, right after we get done with the Warp Tour, we head out to uh, Singapore, Australia, New Zealand, Philippines, Japan. And then we come back and do a headlining to support the, the record release here in the States. And we head back out to uh, Western Europe and UK. Okay. Yep. So, you're going to go all around the world? Yeah, man. Just all around. I mean, yeah, I love all it. I mean, that's what. <laughs> Man, just being in a band is important. I'd love to travel, so it's, it's definitely right in my house. So traveling so much, what are those must need items that you need to have with you? Man, the iPod, you know, slash or the iPhone, you know, whatever you got. The cell phone, the laptop, anything that can communicate and get you back home, you know, any of those little moments that you can share. We were out on tour Thanksgiving last year, and my family put up the computer, and I got to Skype in and watch what they were doing for Thanksgiving, and they watched my, you know, I see, you know, so stuff like that. You know, anything that you can communicate back with your family. It's real cool. What's the best part of being on work tour besides yeah, playing out every day? Man, just being with your brothers and you know, best friends and hanging out with bands that you never have a chance to tour with. Like, you know, like Norma Jean's, like, it's brutal hardcore band. But there's some of our best friends we've never got a chance to tour with. They're such great guys. So hanging out with them means a lot. You know, it's, and bands like them. You know, that we probably never end up going on tour with. Them. But hanging out with one of them is a space ball. Yeah, any pranks played on each other? I, I think nobody, I think people are afraid to play pranks right now because we're so close, you know, so just new in the war tour. I think as you get along, you know, like right at the end where there's no retaliation, I think that's what's going to happen. All right. What's, what's the best city so far? Uh, for us, it's been Salt Lake and Denver. Salt Lake City is it, just always just just great. So, if you could put together the ultimate tour, I mean, I know you said a lot of the bands are on this tour yeah. right now. Living or Dead, who would you add on to this? Okay, uh, people that would be opening up for us are little bands like the Beatles. Probably the Rolling Stones, the Smiths, you know, little bands like that, you know. <laughs> I don't know if any many people have heard of them, so we'd like to expose them to a broader audience. Uh, how has gas affected you guys this year? I mean, it's skyrocketing every it's day. Brutal. I mean, it's doubled our cost of touring pretty much every month. The gas, I mean, because the last tour we did was in December when gas was like two fifty, and now, you know, here it is six months later, it's almost four or five dollars in places. So, yeah, it's really, it's really. I mean, there's bands that have had to drop off Warped Tour because they can't afford it, and that's just sad. I mean, that just sucks for. And then attendance is down at Warped Tour, but I think that's a lot because, man, if you're, if you're, you know, if you are an outside of like an hour radius, man, that's like fifty bucks to get to the tour, you know. So, you know, round trip. So that really hurts a lot of fans. That that sucks. Okay, two two more questions sure. for you. Uh, if you had a magic genie, if you wish you three wishes, what would they be? Oh man, first wish would be for a lot more wishes. <laughs> uh, I don't know, just uh, I think that um, around the world that that uh, people would would uh, have the knowledge and understanding on how to cultivate, you know, maybe like you know enough food for them and their family, you know, because I think that's just a necessary part. Um, and also just. I don't know. I feel like I'm on a I feel like I'm on a beauty pageant trying to make PC answers. But uh, just um, enough enough happiness for all my friends and family. You know, I just happiness for my friends and family because they mean the world to me. And the only thing that sustains me on in life. Is there anything else you want to say to your fans before I let you go? No, just thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Watch out for the new CD. We'll be headlining it and go out there and make a difference in your community, whether it's Habitat for Humanity or flying across the world to a third world country, just whatever it is, just become the change that you want to see in the world.
Okay. And one more thing, my um, my partner he can't be here today, but he wanted, oh, to, okay. uh, he wanted me to bring the show this to see if he remembered anything about it. Oh. Ooh. He actually got that oh from my you. God. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Can I buy this from you? <laughs> he, he's not here. I give him a call. Oh my want. gosh! I want this so bad, dude. Oh my! <laughs> Are you kidding me right now, dude? All right, can I give you an email if he wants to sell this? I will buy this from him. Yeah, definitely. Well, can I at least go burn this? Yeah, dude. Yeah. All right, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go burn it. I'll be, are you gonna be sitting here? At the I'll table? wait here for dude, you. I'm gonna burn this. I'll be. Oh All my right, god, bro. dude. Thank you so hey, much. Hey, um, and one thing, can we just say this is Steve with uh, well, can you say it's with uh, Steve with Get In Magazine. Hey, you know, what are you uh, I'm sorry, sorry. This is Steve and Amber Lynn. Please yeah, yeah. check out Get In Magazine. .com. Okay, Get In Magazine. Dot com. Girl. Okay. Hey, this is Steve Chris from Amberlynn. Check out getinmagazine.com. Got it. Is that good? Cool. Thank um, you so much, man. I will be back. I'll right, cool. do a couple more interviews. Yeah, I'll hang out. Definitely. Thank awesome. you. Thank you.